Hi everyone. So today's topic is uh, on uh, uh, A2X, uh, which is uh, one one of the automation software or uh, tool I would say uh, that can help to you know integrate your Amazon account with the uh, QuickBooks account. So this is one of the very good tools. So I thought that you know let's uh, make one video on that. So. uh many of the uh clients and uh, uh business owners who are you know doing uh business on amazon account and they are stuck with the uh with the lot of issues you know they they don't know how to pull up uh, pull out their accounts into the quickbooks how to you know pass the entry into the quickbooks and that's where i think so this is one of the good tool because uh every time you cannot rely on the accountant as well as you cannot rely on uh, uh the amazon account that you know uh, whether the uh, the details or data you are getting uh, through is correct or not so this is one of the good tool uh, what this tool actually do a2x is uh, uh, which integrate your uh, amazon account with the quickbooks account uh so uh so so basically uh, if if you go through this uh uh tool uh the pricing of this tool starts so let's go with its pricing so it works so it start with the 19 dollar per month and it goes up to uh 70 dollar and uh maybe more than that as well so it all depends upon the your requirement uh let's say you are a e-commerce business owner then uh what kind of your requirement it is whether you are accountant or whether you are uh, having the uh, different kind of business so uh this is the pricing uh, as we talk about so uh almost my client uh, are you know choosing for 70 dollar per month because it is covering up to 5000 orders per month so uh yeah so it depends upon the orders uh, uh maybe i said the inventory but it, yeah depends upon the orders so the more the orders uh, i think so you can uh, go for the uh, maximum plan uh, for a 139 dollar uh let's go over to the uh, portal to understand uh, how it is working so basically uh, when you first uh, you know uh, subscribe for this tool uh, you going to be asked that you know which country you are applying uh, which tax rates are applicable uh, where you are selling your product whether you are selling product only in the us or maybe in the uk or maybe uh, within the uh, particular region so you need to select all these points uh, which is uh, quite simple uh, once you select all these points uh, then your amazon account get connected so yeah then we'll have you have will have a option to connect your amazon account as well and you need to simply uh, you know uh, the option will come to connect your amazon account you need to uh, you can connect it down and then there would be option to connect the quickbooks account if it is not connected uh there at the uh, initial level uh, you can definitely come on this page uh, uh, and uh, you will have option here to connect to the quickbooks and simply maybe you can go into the settings uh, you can go into the connections and under the connection you can uh connect your yes so you, you, you here you can see you can uh, the connection into the quickbooks and connection into the amazon account you can see here uh also uh you need to define your here you know uh what is your bank account you need to call so you can uh say it may be a current account saving account i don't know the whatever the account the bank name you want to mention you can also mention the bank name as well uh for the bank entries because uh this tool is basically based on the uh on the settlement of the uh payments uh so that i will explain further uh so this is the one we need to you know ensure uh, at the time of 
uh, subscribing to the A2X. Once you done all this thing, you need to first of all configure. This is the most important part where you know you need to uh, integrate your chart of accounts uh, of QuickBooks uh, uh, with the uh, your Amazon account or or you can say your A2X account because the A2X accounts is basically uh, self configured. Uh, you know. Uh, it has all the required, uh, what I would say, uh, codes uh, of the Amazon uh, into the Atrix. And that is why it is so uh, beneficial that uh, you don't have to, uh, you know, uh, map the codes and everything. So, yeah, definitely you need to map, but uh, there is already auto mapping rule is there here. So once you come here, once you have auto mapping is already there. So you don't have to do, you know, the map, uh, all your chart of accounts of your QuickBooks uh, with the uh, A2X accounts. Though, when you select here the in the category all, you can, you need to uh, ensure that, you know, uh, nothing is left out. So all the accounts are uh, having the proper QuickBooks accounts, you know, uh, should be there. Uh, so if it is not there, let's say the here. So in the yellow one, you can say that, you know, something is missing. So here, let's say the tax rate is missing. So for the promotion, it is the income. Uh, the tax rate should be 20%. So it should be 20% on the standard sales. So I can select that. So most of the cases, uh, it would be 20% standard. And uh, wherever, uh, let's say your client is selling into the uh, Europe region or, you know, EU region. So there the sales is totally exempt so because it is uh, they regard they uh, or i would say even if you are in us uh, maybe your company is registered in uk uh, maybe you are selling into the uh, eu market then it is called the export of services and the export is always been exempt and that's where the uh, zero tax is left and that for that uh, the uh, tax code would be 0.0z so z would be for the eu uh, it's quite tricky uh, because uh, it is sometimes you don't know, you know, what is the uh, EU sales because the courts do not really define that, you know, uh, that this is the EU, uh, you know, uh, uh, it is EU sales because most of the cases they write B2B, B2B means within the UK. Uh, MFV, uh, which is the uh, sales in the uh, European region. So, uh, still, if uh, I would say someone who has a doubt, because if you connect with your accountant and they would be, you know, trying themselves and they would be also going through, and when they actually telling with the, you know, your uh, PNL account, then the your uh, I would say your your revenue and expenses are not matching with the uh, your Amazon account. The reason being is that uh, the wrong coding, and that's where it is so tricky. This thing that yeah, the coding is once done. Yes, there is option of auto mapping rule, uh, which is here. But still, we need to map all the codes because you never know that Amazon can use the different kind of you know the codes, small codes that can impact your account and you are you know struggling to find that hundred pound or hundred dollar that you know where it lost and uh, your entire day goes into that yes uh, most of the accountant uh, if you do not have this A2X then what they do uh, they simply uh, let's say let's say this, this is the account uh, so uh, there is this Amazon report that gets out uh, which is your you know uh, standard report, I would say, uh, for, you know, passing the entry in the, uh, in your zero or, uh, uh, your accounts accounting software. So, uh, most of the accountant, they will, uh, take the amount from here for each of the accounts and they pass the entries into the, uh, your, uh, uh into the QuickBooks. But, uh, it may be right it may be wrong so because here there are many small you know if you see here that liquidation fees uh there are other transaction refunds now these are the codes which are not actually auto mapped into the atrix so here for that uh you need to ensure that your when you select here in the category all then 
you need to you know define for each of the uh, uh, for each of the transaction or each of the accounts you need to map it uh, correct accounts in the again uh, in the quickbooks so this is very tricky situation but yeah this is very much important as a chart of accounts is not if correctly uh, mapped then it can create a lot of issues uh, when you have a mapping with the a2x but i would still recommend this software because it will ensure that you know for each of the account you can have transaction level details available you know which entry is going where once you have the mapping even you have the backup uh, you know your inventory you can able to track it uh, you know with the amazon you can have the month and inventory report the option is available so that will also uh, show you uh, you don't have to worry about the you know this manual entries because the automated entries are going through so now we'll see the how the automated entry is going through. so once this once this chart of account is done uh, you need to go into the settlement so uh, this would be your daily routine once the, everything is set uh, you would be coming on to this page and you need to ensure that you know uh, the uh, entries are going automated so if entries are not so here the sales sent means your entry is already posted into the quickbooks let's say if it is not sent then there would be some query so they would have written here on hold and we need to review it that you know whatever the query is there you can export this data and you can check that maybe some account issue is there, mapping issue is there, then it could be a chance that uh, the entry could not have been posted into the QuickBooks. So uh, we need to see that. But in daily routine, uh, these entries, uh, so how it will be matching now, I tell you. Uh, in A2X, wherever you have the settlement amount, the settlement amount is the payment that your client gets every month or maybe every week or whenever they are withdrawing that amount. So till that amount, uh, whatever the revenue is generated, that generated is post that revenue is generated uh, is uh, getting posted into the QuickBooks. Now you will have a query that if it is a cash based accounting, then how can it be? Uh, you can say it accrual based of accounting. So that's uh, another one query we have also uh, you know arrived with this A2X. So actually this system doesn't work like this. So it actually take the revenue for entire month but it will also break your uh, revenue let's say this june 13 to june uh, july 04 so this will break the revenue for the month of june in the month of june it will post it and for the rest of the revenue it will post into the july so there is a no query of you know you will have that you know uh, whether it's for the month of june revenue or whether whether it's a month of july revenue and it will also ensure that even if uh, it is on accrual basis of accounting, uh, it will post into the particular month when it is getting sold. So that is a very good thing here that you know uh, you don't have to worry. And your payment is also tallied with your bank account exactly because your this money is exactly matching with your bank account. So when you do in QuickBooks account your bank record, that exactly this money will be matching there. And that's a very good part of this thing. Uh, now another one point into this A2X system is uh, you can have the cost of inventory at the month end and you can see that you know uh, what is your uh, month end inventory cost so what one has to do that you know uh, they have to uh, go into the uh, their inventory report uh, so I would say uh, sorry here in the cost part and in manage cost uh, you need to upload against each of the SKUs uh, the cost of the inventory once you update that cost end of each month you will have the exact your uh, cost of inventory that how much inventory of your client line and that you can tell in with the QuickBooks uh, which will uh, reduce the you know your stress uh, for to maintain that inventory the same into the QuickBooks if you don't want to also maintain into the QuickBooks the inventory already is there in the this A2X. You can simply take that and attach that in the QuickBooks to uh, take as a uh, month and inventory. Uh, yeah, if you want to also uh, manage and ensure that you know your inventory that you maintain into the QuickBooks uh, and that should also matching with the A2X, still it will match. 
and that is a very good thing that you know you can have exact matching of the numbers uh, you can find out the difference let's uh, that you know what has went wrong and right in your inventory and you can adjust uh, the inventory accordingly same within the networks you can also uh, maintain here the inventory as well though the networks inventory would be much more uh, i would say uh, the correct one because it is directly coming through the amazon uh, account so you can rely on the uh, netox uh, inventory so uh, yeah all in all so uh, once you have all this thing done then you can let's say this uh, may month of uh, report i have this uh, month of may report where uh, i have the you know the sales will see a 3855 so here i have 3355 so some adjustment is here 339 is the another sales so that's where it will exactly match your sales amount uh and all the entries will be done automatically uh through a2x and you don't have to you know worry about that you know whether the entries you need to pass at the month and so once it is been settled uh, you don't have to worry all the entries being done uh, by itself uh, it will help to the client as well as as a accountant that uh, you know your uh, taxes are correctly posted your revenues are correctly posted and you don't have to every month you know do manually pass those entries your client can able to identify which are your uh, you know the uh, less used stock what is the cost of inventory at the month and so even the client can uh, see here uh, i'll show you the uh, in the inventory uh let's say the what is the uh, uh so you have to enable here also one of the important point that once you go into the settings you have to enable the inventory then only your inventory will be uh, tracked and you can check the cost of the inventory uh as well as uh, you can check a uh, lot of other reports uh, within here that you know the inventory by the region uh the sales by the region and the other reports uh, one can find uh within here uh yeah in the monthly su uh, summary uh, you can find your month and report for the month of may what is your uh because i have not still uh, you know updated the cost of the, all the inventory that's why here the value is not showing once i will upload all the uh, cost of the inventory it will show me here the correct value at the month of uh may the cost of the inventory so that is how this uh, a2x software works hope uh, guys this will help you uh, to you know uh, understand the how this tool is working uh i would advise that you know uh, take the uh, help of the expert when you you know first set up this a2x account uh, also we are uh, also helping the uh, many clients if you guys are you know uh, don't want to you don't have your own account you can connect with us uh, at uh, i'm just giving the link into the below into the video alert pro accounting you can connect with us anytime we can help you out to you know set up your a2x account and that will help you to automate uh, your entire accounts in terms of your amazon account selling as well as the other software state to x supports we can also help you with that so yeah thank you guys uh, hope this video helps and yeah i uh, uh request you to please subscribe so we can uh come up with the more useful videos that can help to the accountant and to the businesses as well yeah thank you